Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and functional medicine practitioner. So in today's video, I am going to continue discussing keto and intermittent fasting. Last video, you heard my recent weight loss story of over 20 pounds and still going. So now I wanna break it down and give you some step-by-step -step instructions so that you can get started yourself. Now I'm going to take this from a starting point where you're already you know, doing the right thing most of the time. You're not eating the standard American diet of junk food and you know horrible eating habits because that is gonna be difficult to go right from that into keto and intermittent fasting. You'd have to take things a lot slower. But assuming that you're eating real food and you're not going crazy with junk and sugar, that's where we're gonna take this from for our starting point. Before we get there, let's do a quick basic primer on what macronutrients are uh, so everybody is clear on that. So there's three macronutrients. When I say macros, I mean macronutrients. Protein, carbs, and fat. Okay, so protein is basically mostly from animal products. Um, there, are, there is protein in other foods such as vegetables and nuts and beans and stuff like that. But when I'm referring to protein, I'm mostly referring to animal sources of protein. Okay, that's where you get your amino acids from. Uh, and that's the building block of, of a lot of parts of your body. Okay, so next is carbohydrates. So carbohydrates include fruits, vegetables, grains, beans, starches, uh, sugar, okay? Some carbohydrates are really good for us, like vegetables, and some of them are not so good for us, refined uh, processed foods, sugar especially. Uh, so when I say low carb, I'm not referring to vegetables. You can eat vegetables freely. When I'm saying low carb, I mean taking out the junky stuff like the sugary things and the processed foods and even whole grains and things like that because they're very high in carbohydrates. Uh, okay, and then the last category is fats. So uh, fats include uh, oils and uh, there, are, there is a significant amount of fat in animal products. Uh, butter, avocado, nuts have a lot of fats in them too. So these are what I mean by fats. So first thing I wanna say is don't be afraid of fats, especially healthy fats, because that's what we're gonna be burning uh, as our fuel source, and that's what makes your brain work better. That's what your cell membranes are made from, fat. So fat is critical to our health and nutrition. So don't be afraid uh, of fat. Okay, next, eating all of the time, like six meals a day, isn't good, okay? I know that you hear that a lot in mainstream information. It's just not true. Every time you eat, you're stimulating insulin. When you're always stimulating insulin and you're not burning what it is that you ate, it's getting stored as fat, okay? So that's not the idea here. What we're working on is not eating all of the time and getting our period of time down to a restricted period or even beyond that. Okay, so next is um, you're going to incorporate low carb eating for the most part, not to say that you're never gonna eat carbs ever again, but in order to start burning fat, we have to reduce the amount of carbohydrates in our diet so our body can switch to fat burning instead of sugar burning, okay? So we're gonna reduce the amount of carbs in general, doesn't include vegetables, and you're gonna increase the amount of fat that you're eating, but not by a ton, okay? Now if you're eating no fat at all and you're afraid of fat, that's different. But if you're eating a normal amount of food that has fat in it, you can go a little bit more with some you know, healthy oils or some avocado and things like that. But the key is just don't be afraid of fat. Okay, and then protein wise, that's gonna vary from person to person, but you wanna keep your protein moderate. I'm not gonna really give you numbers of grams because it's like I said, it's gonna vary by how much you work out, if you're a man, if you're a woman, things like that. Okay, so low carb, higher amounts of fat, that's the first thing. Second thing is how many times a day are you eating? So if you're the type of person that's eating every couple of hours or three meals and snacks all day long, the very first thing you wanna do is get rid of the snacks, okay? Let's do this gradual, okay, for the people who are just eating all the time. First, take away the snacks, okay? Make sure you're eating enough at each meal that you can get from one meal to the next without being hungry. 
Then when you get to that point, let's say now you're at three meals per day, now you're gonna work on getting down to two meals per day, okay? That can either be losing breakfast or losing dinner. It's totally up to you. Everybody is gonna sort of have a different preference for this. Most people, it's easier to lose the breakfast, but then again, if some people, they get up early and they're very active in the morning, they would prefer to skip the dinner part. But the main thing is that you're gonna gradually push back one of those meals so that it's taken away. So if it's breakfast, if you're eating normally at eight, you push it back to nine, then to 10, then to 11, until you feel comfortable, and then you could just take it away and eat your lunch, uh, eat your lunch. So again, you don't have to count calories at this point. You don't have to count anything really, um, but just you know, try to keep the carbohydrates low and keep the fat at a decent amount, okay? So if you have already done this and you're already doing two meals a day, then your next step, if you wanna to continue to lose weight, okay? Some people are good with two meals and they're gonna find the right weight there and they're gonna feel great with this and that's good for them. But then if you're trying to lose more weight or you're plateaued with the two meals, then you might wanna consider going down to one meal per day, okay? So again, you might wanna consider just pushing your lunch a little back further, further, and further until you get down to the one meal or uh, you can just try doing the one meal a day a couple days a week. You don't have to do this every single day. Um, if you get used to it and you wind up liking it and you're losing weight, that's great. There's no one size fits all for everyone with any of this. So keep that in mind. Everybody is different, men and women. We all have different metabolisms. We all have different amounts of activity in our day. So just, you know, do what works for you. I'm just giving you some basic ground rules of combining keto, low carb and intermittent fasting. Okay. I'm going to be making more videos on more prolonged fasting, but that's a little bit more in depth than I wanna get into in today's video. So those are the basics. You're gonna stop eating six times a day and you're gonna work your way down to three meals, then to two, possibly to one, depending on what your goals are. Okay, that's the first step. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna get into more specifics about uh, things to help you with this process in some later videos, but I wanted to break down with you just the beginning part with the basics. All right, so if you like this video, please let me know. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you wanna share with your friends, that would be great too. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks and good luck, bye.